thank you very much. Uh, that's a very good group. These are all and constantly rejuvenated. But what about uh, those who have not been invited this time? My answer is simple. Enlargement is an open process, not a single event. No democratic country will be excluded from consideration. So those who want to join will and should continue to advance their case. And of course, enlarging NATO will not be free. It will not be free in three directions. The new countries, they'll have to pay something. This is not in a scholarship. They'll have to pay. They have to upgrade their military. And then the, all members of the alliance will have to put something also. And the collective part of the alliance, all the members together, will have to contribute also. But I can tell you that uh, all these studies we have done, we conclude that the cars will be manageable. The dynamic transatlantic relationship. No longer will the alliance be caught in a false choice between US engagement or no engagement in a crisis. Where the alliance, and I stress the alliance, agrees that an operation can and should be led by Europeans it will, for the first time, be a realistic option. From 1992 to 1992. Of the Atlantic, uh, of the Atlantic Alliance to the During the past uh, 